going to dive into the fascinating world of arrays in Java. Arrays are a fundamental concept in programming by which we can store or manipulate multiple values of the same data type. But before we jump into the code, let's imagine a real life scenario to help you understand arrays better. Imagine you are organizing a game of basketball and you need to keep the track of the scores of each player. Instead of using separate var variables for each player, we can use an array to store their scores in it. Let's say we have three players. Player A, player B and player C. We can create an array called scores and store their scores in it. Each player's score will be represented by an element in the array. Now, let's switch to the code editor and see how we can implement this basketball scoring scenario using arrays in Java. Here's the code snippet that represents our basketball scoring example. In this code, we declare an array called scores using the data type int, indicating that it's an array of integers. We initialize the array with a size of 3 using the new keyword. Then, we assign the scores for each player to their corresponding index in the array. As you can see, we access the score of each player by using the array name followed by the index in the square brackets. The index starts from 0, so player A score is at index 0, player B score is at index 1 and player C's score is at index 2. Now, let's understand this array code to make it clearer. Here, we have an array called scores with three elements. The scores are stored in consecutive memory locations and we can access each score using its corresponding index. Arrays provide us with a powerful way to work with collections of data. We can iterate over the elements, modify them or perform various operations using array methods. Let's say we want to calculate the average score of all the players. We can use a loop to iterate over the array and sum up the scores. Let's update the code and see the output post explanation. In this code, we initialize a variable total to keep track of the sum of the scores. We use a for loop to iterate over the elements of the array. The loop starts from 0 and continues until the index reaches the length of the array. Inside the loop, we add each score to the total variable. Here, we have an array named scores initialized with three values 10, 15 and 8. 
array is like a container that holds multiple values of the same data type. Now, let's calculate the total score and the average score of these values. We'll start by creating a variable total and initializing it to zero. This variable will store the sum of all the scores. Next, we'll use a for loop to iterate through each element in the scores array. The loop initializes a counter variable i to 0. And as long as i is less than the length of the array, the loop will continue. Inside the loop, we access each score using the index i and add it to the total variable. This way, we are summing up all the individual scores. Once the loop completes, we calculate the average score. We create a variable named average and divide the total by the number of scores in the array using scores.length. Since we want an accurate decimal value for the average, we are casting total to a double before performing the division. Let's run this code and calculate the average score. And here you have it. The average score is 11.0. We calculated the average score using the array and a simple loop. Arrays are incredibly powerful when we need to work with multiple values of the same data type. They allow us to store and manipulate data efficiently. We can access the elements but using the indices, iterating over the array and performing various operations. That's it for today's episode on arrays. I hope you enjoyed learning about this concept. Please like, share, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon for more exciting coding videos. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next episode of Code Crushers.